Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and in this video I'm going to teach you how to change the wireless card in an HME MB300 or MB300ES base station. It's the same with HME MB300 HD which is actually 340 DX340 base station. The base station looks like this and we want to change the wireless card. Why do you need to change the wireless card? Usually the wireless card needs to be replaced if the uh, sound is always distorted and there is too much radio noise uh, or the registration keeps failing, it doesn't register the headsets, headsets are having a hard time registering that kind of stuff. So it's all related to wireless radio frequency issues and this is how we do it. Uh, for this project you need uh, one screwdriver uh, star shaped and a Phillips screwdriver. The star shaped one is T8. Let me let me show you the, the screwdriver from a close up distance so you can see what it is. So as you can see this is a T as in Tom uh, 8 uh, screwdriver. The X40 it means the, the length so this this doesn't doesn't mean anything it's 40 millimeter but uh, the, the T uh, the T8 is the number that you want to pay attention to. I will be using a, a power drill with a T8 tip, which is this guy right here, as you can see. T8 tip. And I will be using this with a power uh, screwdriver or power drill. Alright. So, in order to replace the cord, you need to remove six screws. One, two, three, four, five, six. You need to remove these screws and let's get started let me magnetize the screwdriver so we can get the screws out so the screws are not magnetic Okay, all four, all six screws are out, but do not like take it, uh, lift it up immediately. You have to make sure the battery is not there. There is no battery, good. And then do it slowly because there is a cable that goes to this DC jack, and that cable will break. See that cable? As I mentioned, this cable right here will break. This is attached to the DC jack. So you have to be very, very careful. Very, very careful. And unplug this guy. Unplug this guy. Like that. Unplug it. Get it out of the way. Now you have to unplug the DC jack. So this and this needs to be unplugged. These two wires needs, need to be unplugged six screws fall out of the top make sure you have all six of them this one hasn't fallen off yet I'm going to push it out there so now I have all six screws as you can see one, two, three, four, five, six. All six screws are out. Leave the screws in a safe place. Do not lose the screws. We set it aside for now. This is your wireless card that needs to be replaced. So gently unplug all the cables that plug into this. How many cables do we need to unplug? We need to unplug the following. One, two, three, four five six seven eight eight cables need to be unplugged so first we need to put back the Phillips screwdriver remember I said you need a Phillips and a star shaped now is the time for the Phillips so I'm gonna put the Phillips screwdriver open these make sure you don't lose these 
so they, these don't fall take them up pick them up and put everything aside so now I have the screws all the screws these two guys and the holder uh, these are the antenna wires remove them gently set them aside one two three four five six six more cables to unplug unplug this guy let me zoom in so you can see exactly what's going on here unplug this guy unplug this guy unplug this guy and unplug this guy we still not done yet we have one more and unplug this guy so one two three four five six seven eight uh, one two three four five six seven eight yeah eight cables to remove now we have to open these two screws at the bottom okay now that the screws have been removed do not do not like pu pu push it up from here because you break the connector you have to push it up from here because this is where the connector is see I'm gonna show you so do it like slowly here slowly here slowly here so like that like like uh, like this like this watch watch this screwdriver okay so do that and there you go this is the connector that I removed from here so this connector right here is the reason uh, why uh, what was holding it uh, even though I removed the uh, all the um, screws okay now we get the new card okay this is the new card and take all the cables out of the way you make sure all the cables are out of the way you make sure this is aligned to this and you apply parallel pressure you don't apply pressure on one end parallel like that parallel pressure make sure your hands are static uh, free like your body is grounded because everything you see here is static sensitive you could fry everything make sure you discharge your static charge or your body is grounded some people use a hand rest that goes to the ground some people use a foot uh, uh, rest um, you know that's what I use okay so now we put back the screws the, sh the shorter screws go where the connector is and the longer where the antenna cables are see this one is short one is long so I'm gonna put the shorter screws first I put the second short screw Okay, now I put these guys, see these, very gently, you put those very gently, you put the other one very gently, the reason I'm saying gently because they can't move, you have to put it right above the hole and they cannot move because uh, if they move the, the hole will be off the other hole and the screw will not go in. That's the reason why you have to be very careful. All right, so let's plug back in the antennas. Actually, it's it's much better to plug in the antennas before you put these because they they will slide out when you plug in the antennas. Now, we put this right here, which is holding the antenna wires. We put it right there and we put the longer screws so 
So now we put the longer screws. Okay, everything looks good. Now we plug back in these cables. We plug them very gently. Make sure when you're plugging, plugging it in, it, plugging it in from this end, you don't unplug the other end. Okay, because that's another problem people do. They plug this end and it comes off from the other end. These are very small little jumpers. Uh, it's very easy to unplug it from the motherboard when you're putting it on the wireless card. Make sure all the cables are connected firmly and the, the plug goes in all the way and is not halfway in. Just to be on the safe side I'm pushing the motherboard side as well just to make sure I didn't accidentally pull it out. And now this guy comes back in here. This guy right here. And that's it. Those are all done. The wireless card is in place. Now we will zoom out and show you where the other cables go in. So you see this long connector right here? This is where this guy goes in. There, it's successfully plugged in to the long connector. And the DC port plugs in right here. Right here. This is where the DC port goes. So what do you do is you let this lean there for a minute and you plug in the DC port so there it is I plugged it in now I will put back the cover put back the cover and put back the screws okay so now when you when you when you're putting back the cover make sure these notches align with these two uh, antenna uh, plugs like that make sure the notches align Pr push it in put it back upright and you're ready to put back the screws now if you're using manual screwdriver again you could do it manually but I'm gonna be using the electric screwdriver to do it much faster if you're using the, the electric one make sure that the, your clutch is no more than two one or two because you will strip the screws these things cannot handle too much torque so the torque clutch needs to be in one or two go back to the top view I think top view is much better or maybe left view yeah left view is much better okay oh I'm putting screw over screw you don't want to do that you don't want to put one screw over another screw all right okay all the screws are in the thing looks you know solid looks ready now let's plug it in make sure the surgery was successful so I'm plugging it in the power supply for this is 12 volts DC center positive 5 amperes 12 volts DC center positive 5 amperes and the tip size is 5 millimeter by 5.5 millimeter by 2.5 millimeter okay it's not 2.2 it's 2.5 all right so we plug it in and we turn it on and voila everything looks good I'm gonna press the registration make sure I get the little zero you get the O and you have to put the, the headset in the registration mode what you do is you press all and you turn it on 
to put it in registration mode. Um, and that's it. That's how you register it. I'm not going to do that because this is an HD version. The 340 HD requires an HD base, so this is not going to work. But yeah, that's how simple it is. Uh, I hope you learned how to change the wireless card. And uh, thank you for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, I look forward to doing more videos for you. Take care.